guys. Welcome to the next game on the list. Bomberman 64, released for the Nintendo 64 in 1997 by Hudson Soft. I've never really been, like, the biggest fan of Bomberman, but I've always thought he was kind of cool. Alright, so Hus Hudson's mascot makes its first leap into 3D with this game. There are four main stages to go through before heading to the main final area. Bomberman can move around, kicking bombs and powering them up to blow up any objects that he might come across. I mainly remember this game for the first stage's music. It's really good. This game did have a sequel called Bomberman 64 The Second Attack as well, but unfortunately I don't own that one. I have this one and Bomberman Hero, but not The Second Attack. So the game opens with a group of aliens attacking a defenseless planet. They are using something called the Omnicube to drain a planet of its energy, leaving its citizens in a zombie-like state. The leader of this group, called Altair, has now made Planet Bomber his new target. Shortly after, Bomberman observes as Altair attacks a nearby area using his ship, the Black Fortress. Then, a robot calling himself Sirius appears before Bomberman and offers him, his him assistance in dealing with the threat. He'll have to take out the four anchors of the ship and the bosses within before being able to de deal a decisive blow within the Black Fortress itself. Alright, so... Alright, let's get to the adventure. I think this is this was quite a departure from past Bomberman entries, since that was more of like, you know, you're like in a single o uh, over overhead overhead view, and you like the goal is just just blow up the other Bomberman or enemies that are around you. got blasted into the sky. Oh. Uh, hi? We've got a boat. Because of the force field, there's no way you'll be able to get near, let alone get in the central base. So you destroy the four anchors to the base. The field will be deactivated and you can destroy the base from the It's asking too much to have you go alone, so I'll give you a hand. Up, so blow up as many as you can. 
large red gem in this room, which is protected by a magical bearer. Step on the four switches to release the bearer. Talk to me by pressing the B button. My name is Sirius, a name you should remember. Okay, so let's blow stuff up and try not to blow ourselves up in the process. That's how it works. That's an important skill. enemy can be knocked unconscious, picked up, and thrown into another area. Use the C buttons to change the camera angle even while the game is
Special item becomes a more powerful bomb that can destroy all objects. It can only be used once per stage. Gold card, an item you receive when you certain objectives are completed. There are five per stage. Okay. us. Come <laughs> on. 
I just died.
Fine. Cool that. that took forever. Okay. I'm afraid to Looks like a dragon.
bounces off of it if all it does is stop it back. <laughs> is harder than I thought it would be. It, it, it's got a bit of a learning curve to it, but once you get the hang of it, it's 